so one of the ways that people paint in Photoshop is that they'll start um, doing a black and white painting first and then uh, by using a color blending layer they'll add the colors on that layer and the reason why they do that is because it's, it's a lot easier to paint in black and white and with Photoshop it's also very easy to add color um, but with some surface like the skin surface it's a very complex surface so let me show you a quick way of, of um, coloring the skin where it looks a little bit more natural and vibrant okay so here is the black and white painting now for the setup of the layers um, the very bottom is the painting layer and then right above it is our color layer with the color blending mode and then above that is just a little masking layer so I get rid of all the junk around it and then on top of that it's just gonna be our palette where we're gonna be uh, putting the colors that we're gonna be using so for our skin color I'm gonna be using this kind of peachy color and then if we go back to the color layer we can easily just you know spray this on so very quickly we can add color to this um, but one thing you got, we got to understand about the skin is that it's a very complex surface and you know going from highlight to all the way to the shadow area you'll notice that there's actually different colors involved so what I like to do is I'm going to add two more colors to our palette I'm going to use this for the highlights and I'm going to use this for the darker areas and I'll show you what I mean okay so I'm gonna go back to the color layer <clears throat> so now I'm gonna use a much uh, softer brush with opacity probably around I'll just do 20 something percent right now okay okay so we go to the color layer for the highlights I'm gonna select the yellow and I'll just run it over some of the highlight areas and that will give it some some yellow which is you know some nice uh, warmth to the skin and you can see kind of see that too if you're you know at home with the tungsten lighting so just around the highlight area I'm just gonna spray this on and you can see that you know it gives it more variation in it and the skin feels real doesn't feel like it's just monotone, you know. Okay. So you can see some of the yellowing here, you know, around the around the highlights. Okay, maybe some there. Okay, now I'm gonna go to um, the dark area. So I'm gonna select this red, and this I'm gonna go really light. That's it gets on pretty strong. So I'm, I'm using about like ten percent, and let's see how that goes. So just in the dark areas, I'm just going to spray this on. <clears throat> so like in the creases. Maybe some here. And especially on the edge, because that's where, I mean, at least for this, for this lighting angle, angle, it's kind of straight on. So the edge is going to have a little bit darker. So here I'm just going to put in some of the red and some here, definitely in here, so like that. So you know even little details like this you just go in with a smaller brush. I mean, I'm not going to go all that detail, I just kind of want to show you what I'm doing. So you can kind of see the skin coming alive, right? So that's it, and you can see how easy it is um, to color stuff in Photoshop just by using a color blending layer. And the key is to use three separate um, skin colors and not just one. So thanks for watching. Do check me out on my Facebook page or my blog, and I will see you next time.